Hey, good morning. It's Jim from JagFX.com. It is Friday, the 3rd of April, 2020. It is 4.54 a.m. local here in Vietnam. This video is looking at my 12-hour charts where I've taken some, uh, the high probability charts, where I've taken some action on them this morning. Uh, a bit of a delay. The new candle was at 4 a.m. Bit of a delay this morning because it took a long time for the spreads to come into anything reasonable. I'm still not that happy with them, but... The volatility is obviously either very low or things aren't just happening at all. So we're looking at that. This is my watch list on the right. Here's all the pairs I'm trading on the 12-hour charts. The ones highlighted in orange are the ones I'm going to discuss this morning in this video. The ones in blue are the ones I've got trades on. The ones that aren't highlighted are the ones I haven't got trades on. So it's only the one by looks. So we'll start with the OzCAD. You can read my notes or you can pause the video and read my trades. Basically, just took a sell this morning. There's a red QMP filter dot up here. MACD Platinum's above the zero level. The red line signify my entry. So intersection between those two lines. The red trend lines represent hidden bearish diversions. The trend is down, so price has come down, come back, pull back, hasn't breached the previous high, which is good. Coming to the MAs and starting to head down again. Looks like a good setup. So that's a sell at that level there, 85610. Aussie USD, very similar. Same sort of deal. Trends down. Prices come back. Touched the 50, which is good. MACD's a long way above the zero level. Hidden bearish divergence, same deal. Red lines. There's a trade taken at 60570. That green line on the Aussie is the 60 level, which is a big number. So either got to break through that or bounce off it or something. It's it's a um, big number on the Aussie. So that's the reason that's marked on the chart. CAD Swiss, what to do here? Oh, yeah, it took a... All right, I'm already in a sell back here um, based on a little bit of... Um, oh, the sell was a little double top there. MACD was above the zero level. Took the sell. Uh, where did I take the sell? In, in here, sorry. Yep. Price went against me. And came up to the same level again, just dropped back down just through my uh, entry level and bounced straight back up. Now it's back at that same level again. But now I've got a buy signal, which is not a valid buy signal because the MACD Platinum is above the zero level. Remember the MACD Platinum only looking for sells when it's above the zero level and buys when it's below the zero level. So what I've done is I've taken a hedge buy. And that's the same position size. So it basically locks in a loss between the original sell and the hedge buy. It acts as like a stop loss. So I can't lose anything else at the moment. Only overnight interest or swap rates. So I've taken a buy there, locking in a loss, waiting for price to sort of head up and roll back over and take another second sell with a bigger position size and try and get myself out of this sequence of trades. So that's the CAD Swiss. And lastly, we have the Euro USD. Um, all right, I was stopped out on a this buy trade yesterday. So my buy is the blue, obviously. So it was taken in here. It was a good buy. You see that MACD is a long way below the zero level. Took the buy. It went up through my through the MACD um, MACD platinum went through the zero level. I would have closed out half of that buy trade, put a stop in place, which is a red dotted line. Then here I've got a good sell signal, which I've taken, and that sell is now in full play, so that's all right. So that buy, uh, where is it, euro, it gave me the remaining stop out, gave me a whopping profit of $8.10. That's been added to the overall, so now I can get rid of this. I just leave the lines on the chart so I can show you where the trade was. So it's now gone. All I've got is that sell and play. I don't know why the stops all the way over there. I'll fix that up. Um, yeah, got that sell and play. Once the MACD Platinum gets down near the zero level here, then I'll start looking at closing out half of that. Oh, that's, sorry, that stop levels to do with the buy. Yeah, once it gets down to the um, zero level, the MACD Platinum, then I'll start looking at closing out half and putting a stop in place, etc. So that's it for the 12-hour charts, guys. All of these 12-hour trades are recorded on a shared spreadsheet through Google Drive. The 
Everyone's got access to that spreadsheet if you wish. The link to that spreadsheet is in the description of the video. So that's the 12 hour chart. So next time I check these will be in approximately 11 hours from now and that'll be for the week on the 12 hour charts. So thanks for watching the video. If you do like this video, please um, hit the subscribe button or the like button. That would be greatly appreciated. Enjoy your day. Cheers.